Speed? No, sound, you're supposed to say speed. And I, I say have, speed. You say speed. Okay, let's do this again. It was exciting. It, it, I was scared out of my mind. Um, but I was finally doing this. In an apartment, like two people were talking. It was dramatic. I'm like, ooh, I'm making a movie here. Oh, yeah. I just was so amped up and so energetic and just, you know, so ready to go and make this happen. For the first four hours, were the peak of coordination on Help Wanted while we were shooting. Because Luke was actually trying to direct. Everyone had something to do. That was the best it was ever. Was yeah, I think I got a feeling like yeah, exactly. We're on a we're on a real set. Once people typically see like you know the lights and the, all the people and the cameras and all that sort of stuff, and you got all the sound equipment, you got the monitors, and you got people sitting behind the monitor. It definitely had you know a professional feel to it in terms of appearance. And I mean maybe we were successful from that standpoint that that it looked good. Um, you know, as long as people didn't see any of the footage, we were pretty much all set. <laughs> this was like my day, this was my chance, this was my shot, this is my deal. And I was just, I, that day, nothing could have stopped me from getting to the set and making sure that we got this day rolling. That was the first day on set, no one knew each other, we would had one meeting prior to that, and everyone was just like, hey, what's up, I'm working on a movie, me too. We got in our head at 8 o'clock in the morning on the set, and we went there, we tried to move all this equipment up into Jeff's, uh, apartment. You should try and find something a little bit simpler if you can be on a first floor then it, people don't get exhausted so quickly. And then it, on top of that it was the hottest summer in record. And when we got there they said you can't move anything because there's quiet hours until nine. Guys, guys, we're just have strict instructions just for everyone just to not do a thing right now. Like just sit and just not do a thing. And this crazy, this crazy old woman shows up. We had woken up some drunk lady at 9 a.m. The robe and, um, you know, a glass of wine is the thing that I definitely remember the most. And she started screaming at us and she didn't want us working, so we had to wait till 10, so that put us behind. And everybody was banging around, making all this noise. So it was actually really, really funny in, in retrospect, but obviously it, it was a situation where we had people trapped up on the third floor. Everybody sit down, please. This lady is going crazy. How would you have typified the communication that was taking place on set? Um, well, it's like it was like one of those early switchboards that get flooded with phone calls and everybody's talking and yelling at once. Does that define it? That does define it, yes.